doing today, boys and girls? Peoples? Welcome to another episode with Bilsum, eh? Freaking right. Today I'm gonna talk about the IMAX 6B. Hey, the IMAX 6B charger, boys. I'm not a big fan of it. I'll tell you why. Hey, I'll tell you friggin' why I will. Friggin' right I will. This charger here, I got two of them I did. I used them a few times, and uh, they didn't seem to want to take the old Lego batteries up to the full charge. They didn't. They are only 12 volt. I would suggest staying away from a 12 volt LiPo charger. Friggin' right I would. Go with the uh, DC, eh? Not the AC, or the AC, eh? Not the DC, or whatever the one it is, hey? Go for the one that plugs in the wall, boys. Not the one that goes on the battery. You want an AC, boys. Just so you know. So anyways, I've used these chargers. I think I used them 10 times and it didn't seem to want to charge the batteries fully. For some reason. I had it set on the right settings and everything else. So I put them on the shelf and I got myself a better charger I did. But anyways, I bought the old uh, 4S LiPo batteries for the old Traxxas X-Max and uh, my Onyx charger wouldn't charge 4S for God's sakes. It only charged up to 3S, boys. So I had to pull these ones back out and uh, I plugged one in and pooch, boys. She's pooched. It just goes into voltage overload. Hey, it gets really super hot and then it starts to stink and it goes off. The other one charges slower than dicks it does. It still works because I have two of them, but uh, I don't like it, boys. I charged the batteries and one of them still didn't have the proper voltage. Frig sakes. So my looks on the old IMAX B6 is, don't buy her, boys. Hey, don't buy her. This one's a Friggin' right it is. Junk. So I had to order a new friggin' charger I did because nobody will send me one. Why would they? Why the hell would they? But uh, I wanted to pop on here real quick and show you that and do this and that and the other thing because I don't want anybody buying one of them if you're not happy with it. I'm not happy with it, boys. Go for the DC. Don't go for the AC. Go for the AC. Don't go for the DC. Go for the DC, boys. Don't go for the AC, boys. Well, for freak's sakes. <laughs> go for the DC AC. <laughs> go for the AC, boys, not the DC. There we go, eh? Holy. That was just way too much work, boys and girls. Friggin' right it was. But yeah, that's my opinion. Like it or love it. If you're watching IMAX, I can't send these back again off Amazon, and I've had them for over a year, and then, like I said, I used them probably half a dozen times. So they're out of warranty, and they're junko. So if you're watching, Hi Max, uh, see uh, see if you come good for anything, eh? Because what a waste of money, boys. I almost sold these too. I'm glad I didn't. Frig, I would have sold somebody. And I would have kajijied somebody. That wouldn't have been any good. But anyways, there's the garbage, and that's where that can go, boys. Right in the garbage volcano. So I ordered one of the old Venoms I did, eh? The old Venom Duel. Chargers are good to charge up to, I think it's 6S, boys. Picking blue paint off my desk, why wouldn't I? Blue paint everywhere, boys. She's a blue, blue, blue boys, blue paint boys day, right? There it is. But I don't have much going on right now. I don't have much going on this week, actually, to be honest with you. So I want to do some work down here and around here and up here and over there and around here. And uh, I just don't know what to do. I'll tell you one thing, though. You don't feel like doing anything, to be honest with you. Quiet, loungy night, boys. Why wouldn't I? So yeah. Cheers. Cheers, boys. Oh. I love iced tea, boys. No, I'm not trying to record at all, am I? What's really going on? So anyways, that's what I thought of the old Max 6, eh? Max 6, boys. Junk she is. Pretty right. Anyways, here's a new one, boys, eh? From the old Ventum. The old Venom. We got ourselves a dual charger we did. Freaking right we did. The charge is actually 4S Lipos, boys and girls, peoples. So let's get this box open and we'll take a gander at her and see what's what. Freaking right we will. Let's see what's in the box, boys and girls, eh? First thing that's in the, that comes in the box is the owner's manual. The operating manual, boys. Decent. Second thing that comes in the box is a charger. Look at this freaking thing, eh? Oh, that's freaking decent, boys. Look at that charger. Friggin' right. Dual fans, boys. Got the plug in the back, hey, okay, for the old DC. It's got the plug in the back for the old AC. And it's got the temperature sensors. It's got the lines in, hey, okay, the balance charge ports. It's got all the button doodad watch the colors. That's friggin' decent. I love the way it has a handle on it, eh? That's friggin' awesome. Holy, look at the cords it comes with. So it comes with the plug cord for the wall. Decent. Comes with the cell blocks, hey? Okay? Whatever cell battery you're running. 
decent. It comes with extra long cords for the old doodads. So that plugs in like that, and that plugs in like that, boys. Right, in case you didn't know, why wouldn't you? There they are. Decent. Plugs in the front just like that, eh? Freaking right it does. And uh, it comes with, holy jeepers, look at all the goodies this thing comes with. Now this is impressive. I've never got a charger with this many adapters, eh? Not in a million years. Frig no. Comes with the pig plugs. Comes with the other plug. Comes with a smaller plug. Comes with an even smaller plug. Decent. Comes with, holy boys. Comes with that, with that plug. Comes with this doodad here that goes into the machine like this. Decent. And it comes with the other one that goes into the machine like this. Holy. Look at the cords. And they're the good ones, boys. They're, they're thick walled. They not like the ones I bought. The thin walled junkers. Frig no. So that's pretty freaking cool it is. So we'll plug this in there like this. There's the adapter for the other one. Freaking right. So we can actually put that one aside we can. So there we go. So now we'll undo this. Here we will. Decent. Cordo, and we'll go get some batteries and we'll freaking try it. Why wouldn't we? All right, boys. So we got the old Venom Pro Dual Power Charger plugged in. We do. Freaking right, we do. She's got a nice little blue LED screen light up, hey? And we'll plug in our uh, awesome HRB 4S LiPo batteries. These batteries are mint, boys. Freaking right, we are. So we'll plug it in like so. Like so. And then we'll plug this in like so. Here, let me turn this a little bit so you can maybe see what's really going on. And then we'll plug this in like so. Decent. Then we'll take the other one, plug it in like so, and we'll plug this in like so. So, now let's check around here and see what we got. So, we'll go selection user program. Lithium ion. No, we want. Oh, oh, boys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, please wait. Uh-oh. Oh, cool, boys. You hit this button for this channel or this channel? Pretty great, you do. Select. Light bulb. There we go. So now once we select LiPo, we hit select. We want to go... Oh, it's got storage mode, boys. Hey, freaking right. It's got discharge, storage, and charge. Decent. So we want charge. We want... Holy, it goes up to 7 amps, boys. This is a lever at... Well, we got 7 amps, so you get 500 milliamp. So you want to go 5 amps, boys. Maybe 5 amps max. That's how I rate it anyways. Select. And then we want to go 4S. Select. So we'll hit start. And there she goes, she's checking the battery, and she's charging. Oh, hit start to confirm. Decent. So now we hit next channel, program, lipo, select, charge, select, select. Oh, boys, it's got even balance mode, so you can rebalance her up. Five amps. Decent. 4S, boys. Select, start. Decent, checking battery. Oh. Freaking right, boys. So anyways, yeah, if you're looking for a nice little charger, and they do make one with a four port too, but I couldn't afford the four port, boys. I can only afford the two port, but that's all I need. Now I got two two dual ports, okay? One that charges my 4S. And up. And one that charges the 3S. And down. Freaking right. So anyways, that's a Venom charger. That's a Pro Dual Power Charger, boys, eh? Freaking right. It's the 80 watts by two Venom charger. And I think it's freaking absolutely decent. Freaking right, dude. Why wouldn't I? But anyways, if you want to go get one, I'll put the link below, I will. And like I said, it comes with all these different connectors and stuff, hey? So many connectors, boys. I've never seen a charger come with so many connectors. But that's just absolutely crazy. This one here is for plugging in the back if you're in your car and you want to charge with 12 volt. She plugs in the back over here. And Bob's drunk. For 12 volt. So that's what that one's for. This one's for your, I know a guy, I know a guy that uses a, the XT60s, eh? Hey, Kevin, use the XT60s, bud, don't you? Bring right to you. And then we got the, holy boys, they're all labeled. EC3. Decent. We've got the EC5. Decent. We've got the little doodad that you guys know what I'm talking about, and more of the little doodads, and that little doodad here, which is called a uh, 320, 320, I guess. Decent. And then we got a, whatever that one is, boys. And then we get the mail with mail, right? Yeah. Freaking right, you can jab it in anything. But anyways, hopefully you like this video and I'll let you know how this charger makes out. Right now it's working really good and uh, it's charging. So that's that's the main thing, right boys and girls? Freaking right it is. But anyways, hopefully you like this episode of Bill Sub there and don't forget to subscribe and like and this and that and the other thing. Freaking right, you better not. And uh, you know what to do for now. <laughs>